Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all would be doing good. I'm doing extremely fine and I welcome you all to yet another video. And today I have with me this the all new 2022 Maruti Suzuki Brezza and it is not the Vitara Brezza anymore and it is just the Brezza now. The Grand Vitara is altogether a different car which I will also show you in the upcoming videos as well. So the Brezza now comes in four options the LXI, VXI, ZXI and the ZXI plus. And the car standing right here in front of me is the ZXI trim which is also the most value for money. which i will explain you why so starting from the prices itself only so the brezza now starts at 7.99 lakhs for the lxi trim and goes all the way till 13.8 lakh rupees for the top end zxi with the automatic gearbox and now this comes with the 5 speed manual unit or a 6 speed torque converter so the prices on in my humble opinion are on the pricier side that is because and also it is more than the competition like i will tell you the Kia Sonic diesel automatic even costs lesser than this being a diesel and an automatic so you will ask me why is it so <clears throat> so the thing is this engine that is a 1.5 natural aspirated petrol engine which comes with the smart hybrid tech is bigger in cc's as compared to the like say the segment standard 1.2 petrol engine so basically uske wajah se aapko government ko taxes zyada dene padte hain so that is why so if it would have been a 1.0 turbocharged petrol engine that would have significantly brought the cost down and that this is basically the reason like because of the segment standard 1.2 inches so you got my point right so basically in short guys whenever you are buying a brezza from maruti suzuki you are paying more to the government in the form of tax because of the higher capacity engine that is a 1.5 petrol engine and yeah that is pretty much about the engine so you got my point right so this is because the brezza is on the costlier side now and it is no where value for money except for this variant so before starting with the background video i would like to thank rohan motors for helping me out and if you are looking forward to buy any of the maruti suzuki arena cars so i would highly recommend you to come here and have a look and i will link the phone number of the sales person and the contact person as well as the address in the description in the description box below so you can come here and have a look so now let's get started with the video So guys let me just start off by showing you the key of the Olio Brezza 2022 ZXI trim which looks like this. So this is how the key of the car looks like Maruti logo on the back side with some blue tint and you got two buttons one is for the lock and one is for the unlock button as well. So this is how the key of the car looks like. So starting from the front you might find the Brezza a bit polarizing initially because you can either hate it or either you can love it. So but over the time this will you will get used to it. So that is how the design of the Olio Brezza is. and coming to the headlamps so these are dual projector headlamps which get the daytime running leds over here and uh, dual led strips over here and these do not double up as the indicator and that is why intentionally i have turned on the indicators to show that there isn't separate led for the leds as well so that is pretty much about it the headlamps look neat no second thoughts to that and coming to the bottom this is where i am quite surprised that in, even in the zxi trim you now do not even get the fog lamps so there is some housing over here as well So yeah that is surely cost cutting so that is pretty much about it coming to the front you got the huge Maruti Suzuki logo here and this is a piano black finish grille also with some chrome inserts over here as well and this is how the Brezza looks from the front now let me show you the hood like the engine bay so let me just open it yeah so this is a 1.5 naturally aspirated petrol engine from Maruti Suzuki which comes which used to come in the last Brezza also but this is a dual jet motor now so basically what that means is you have basically got two injectors for each cylinder so that results in better fuel economy and better combustion and this puts out close to this puts out close to 103 ps of power and uh, 138 nm of torque and uh, also this gets a smart hybrid tech so basically usme hota kya hai ki usme 48 48 volt ki 48 volts ki battery rakhi hui hai jo ki initial torque aur basically aapko reach brake regeneration mein madad karegi So that is pretty much about it. I will show you the details in the interior when we sit inside. So yeah, this is how the Brezza looks from the front. And yeah, comment down below how does it look from the front to you. So there is a lot of cladding in the front, as you can see, and there is some metal finish over here as well. So that is pretty much about it. Coming to the side profile of the Brezza. So this is how the Brezza looks from the side profile. Let me give you a complete view. So this is how the Brezza looks, and uh, you can see this. body cladding running all over the side profile as well so yeah 
Coming to the wheels, so these are Vondre tires, and the size of the tire is two one five sixty R sixteen, and you have got disc brakes on the front, and the center cap is missing, and you have got these black colored alloys, which do look good in my opinion. So yeah, that is that was it for the front wheels, and due to the body cladding, the wheels do a do look a bit a little bit small in my opinion. So that is about that. Coming to the rear view mirror, so it has got the turn indicators on them as well, and it is auto foldable once you start the car. So that is about that. Coming to the door handle, so this has got request sensor on them as well. So that is pretty nice. We have got functional roof rails along with the sunroof, as you can see, and also we've got the shark fin antenna. So pretty nice, Maruti. And coming to this, this is the fuel tank, and I guess this is 38, 38 liters of fuel tank. And the ground clearance stands close to 200 mm, so that is pretty commendable for a compact SUV. So yeah, coming to the rear wheels, you get drum brake set up on the rear wheel caps are missing on. Hello, a wheel center wheel caps are missing on this one as well. So yeah, now coming to the most most interesting part of the all new Brezza. So this is how the Brezza looks from the back profile as well. So this is from where the Brezza looks actually good in my opinion. And so Suzuki logo on the back side, Brezza badging, smart hybrid badging that tells that this has a 48 volt battery, mild hybrid. This is basically the mild hybrid tech. And this has got a 48 volt battery, which helps in regenerative braking, auto start, auto start, stop, and initial torque build up. So that is about it. And yeah, you have got these reverse parking sensor over here, and there is huge body cladding on the rear bumper as well. Also, you have got this rear parking camera over here, and yeah, no variant badging anywhere of at that of sorts. Rear wiper, as you can see, rear defogger, as well as the rear parking lamp, stop lamp, and yeah. So opening the boot. So coming to the boot. So this is 398 liters of boot space, and the seats are 6040 split. And uh, opening the shed here, you can see the spare wheel, which is not an alloy, and it is of 21560 R16 size. And yeah, pretty neat packaging, as you can see. You can see a luggage lamp over here as well. And this is for the hook for the shopping bags. So that is pretty pretty much about it. And you can close it from here. The build quality definitely feels nice. And yeah, this is how the Brezza looks from the back profile as well. Also, in particular, I like these tail lights. Like these have the smoke effect on them. So yeah, that is pretty much about it. And yeah, that is how the Brezza looks from the exterior. And yeah, let me know how you feel about the exterior of the Brezza. So now, guys, we would be coming to the interiors of the all-new Brezza, the ZX Citroen. Let me just start off from the doors itself, door handles itself. So this gets a request sensor on both the side, so you can lock in and lock your car from here. And let me just step inside now. And starting on the doors itself, so basically you've got this nice metallic line running over here, and some soft leather, not leather, basically a soft cloth over here as well, which gives a bit premium feel. So yeah. Coming to this, these are all the controls for your power windows. The, there is an auto up and down. Up, there is auto up and auto down function for the driver. This for lock and unlock of your doors. This for all the power windows lock, and these are controls for your outside rear view mirror as well. Coming to the bottom, you have got the speaker placement over here, the tweeter placement over here. The door pockets are pretty nice, and you can store your one liter bottle over here as well. And the door handles are finished in chrome. So coming to the seats itself. So the seats are height adjustable, but manually, and also you can adjust the back support from here and the height from here. So stepping inside, let me tell you what all has it got. <clears throat> Starting from this side, this is for the traction control, so you can enable or disable the traction traction from here. This for the headlight labeling switch. This is the headlight labeler switch. This is the auto start stop button, and this is the engine push button start. The AC vents, which are finished in like these, are covered with metallic strip, so this looks pretty good as well. Coming to the bottom, we have got this lever to open the hood. This is for the fuel lever, and as is a manual, this gets the clutch, brake, and accelerator along with the dead pedal. The dead pedal is, I feel, a very useful feature, and every car should get it. So yeah, that is pretty much about this. So let me just close the door and listen to the thud. So the doors are pretty heavy as compared to that Brezza. So yeah, that is pretty much about it. So this is how the steering wheel of the all-new Brezza 2022 looks like, and uh, this is a direct lift from this car. That is the Swift and the Ertiga Swift and even the Brezza now gets the same steering wheel. So let me just switch on the car first and try to hear to the engines inside the car if the mic could capture. So in my humble opinion, this is so silent. Like if you don't see the needles climb up to 800 RPM, you cannot make out that the car is even switched on. So that is about the engines levels, the refinement levels and all. 
So coming back to the steering wheel, so on the right side you have got all the controls for your cruise control. So you can set the speed from here as well, and uh, you can decrease and decrease and increase the speed, and from here you can cancel the cruise control. Coming to the left hand side, you have got all the controls for your infotainment system, so you can increase or decrease your volume from here. This for the touch chain and this for the mute button as well. Coming to the bottom, so you can see the controls for your Bluetooth. So this for receiving a call, this for declining a call, and this for the voice recognition system as well. And this steering wheel, this steering wheel is not leather wrapped, and although you can adjust it for reach as well as rake, that is, it is both tilt as well as telescopic adjustable. So yeah, that is pretty nice touch ergonomically. Coming to this side, this is these are all the controls for your wiper. So this is how the wiper cleans. So this is pretty neat. So let me just close it right now. Also, you have got the rear wiper on this trim, so you can see this is how the rear wiper looks like. And this is an intermittent wiper. Like you can set the speed and the interval for the operation of the wiper. So that is about that. Coming to this side, basically these are controls for your lights as well as the left and right indicators. So basically you get you do not get the automatic headlamps on this variant. You get that in the ZX side trim. So that's about it. Also coming to the horn of the Brezza. So this is how the horn of the all new Brezza sounds like. So this is how the horn of the Brezza feels like. So this is how the all new Brezza's instrument cluster looks like, and this looks pretty good. It has a lot of information to offer, but I have this one gripe. That why even in 2022, Maruti Suzuki still gives this stick to operate this display. Like the information here is very useful, but I don't know why they could not have given the button over here. Like these are dummy buttons, so you could have like the Mar like Maruti Suzuki could have adjusted the buttons over here instead of this stick, which feels quite cheap to use in my humble opinion. So that is about that. Other than that, the instrument cluster looks very good, and also the last Brezza, like the this this Brezza. Had this cool feature where you could change the color of the dials, like the red, blue, green, and all that. So that looked pretty cool. That has been completely removed from here. So that is about that. Coming to this, this is the tachometer of the car, marking till 8,000 RPM, which tells that this is a petrol, and this is for the engine temperature level warning. Like this basically tells you the engine level, engine temperature. Coming to this, this is the speedometer of the car, marking till 220, and this shows the level of the fuel. And coming to this display, this shows a lot of things like the driving time, the outside temperature, the time, the odometer, and if I adjust it from here, you can see the total idle stop start time and uh, the clock, the date, the motion sensor, the power and torque graph. Like this will be applicable when I drive it, and this is the graph for basically the acceleration and brake. And this is for the SHVS motor, like the smart hybrid at as Maruti calls it. So. Basically, when I will be driving this car, this shows that what where is basically the power is channeling. So that is about that, and yeah, that is pretty much about it. Average fuel economy, the range. Right now, the car has a very the, right now the car has very less fuel. That is it is that is why it is not showing the range, and the fuel economy it is giving nine kilometer per liter. That is because it is standing. So yeah, that is pretty much about the speedometer as well. So coming to the center console, you basically do not get the center armrest now. So that is quite a miss because that is very convenient when you go on long drives and all. And uh, in the place of that, you have got some space to keep your stuff over here. Two cup holders over here, the manual handbrake, and you can keep your key over here, as you can see. Coming to this, this is the five-speed manual gear manual gearbox, and this car either comes with the five-speed manual gearbox or a six-speed torque converter. Now, in the last Brezza, that is this one. You used to get an AMT that was very sluggish. I have driven that, and uh, yeah, that is pretty much about the gearbox. Coming to this again, some space to keep your stuff, and here you can see this is a 12 volt power socket and the place for USB for your USB basically. Coming to this, this is for the automatic climate control. So you can from here you can increase the fan speed or decrease the fan speed, and this is for the temperature as well. <clears throat> Coming to this, these are the two AC vents. And this is for the hazard lights. And let me just switch on the car to show you this. So this is the. Let me just switch it on. Yeah. So this is a seven-inch infotainment system by Maruti Suzuki, and it gets Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Bluetooth connectivity, FM radio, and all that stuff. And the speaker quality is quite good too. And uh, one thing that the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are wired. And from here you can see the date and time as well. And this is very fluid to use as well. So, yeah, 
pretty free to use not anything gimmicky as such but i really miss the volume knob which is not present here nor in the higher variant as well the higher variant gets a 10 inch display but the absence of volume knob is solely missed so yeah, that's pretty much about it piano black finishing over here so this looks very premium and yeah so coming to this side so basically i've got the sun visor for the driver side with the ticket holder and the passenger sun visor with the lights which are placed over here as you can see as well as a mirror so yeah coming to the center so this is the inside rear view mirror which is not auto dimming and you can adjust it manually from here and uh, this is the sunglass holder of the car and here you can see these are the lights of the car and currently the back door is open that is why they are they are not switching it off at the moment and uh, one thing which is very new to maruti suzuki cars and i should say this is the first in any maruti suzuki car is this thing that is the sunroof so finally maruti suzuki cars get a sunroof now with the brezza initially and you can operate it from here so if you just press it keep it pressed so let me just put it into acc so you can operate it from here so this is not very large or very small this is moderate size and yeah it gives a very good feeling like good airy feeling so yeah this is the size of the sunroof so let me just quickly close it it is very hot today so you can close it from here and you have to manually close the blinds from here as well so that is about that talking about the fit and finish and the quality levels inside the brezza the fit and finish is quite good but there is hard plastic all over so that is expected at this price point no gripe with that and uh, you have got this piano black finishing as i have told you so this looks quite premium but one small gripe which i have is like uh, there is this metallic line which runs all over the place and this looks good but there is this brown texture which i personally feel like this is my personal opinion i personally feel that if they would have given this beige or beige color or some light color something like that of sorts that would have looked more premium and that ever that would have also made the cabin looked more airy also so that is my personal opinion that i do not like this chocolatey color which whatever they call it so yeah that is pretty much about the cabin talking about the front seats front passenger seats so basically i've got adjustable headrest and the seat belts are not adjustable i do not understand why the 2014 swift zx i used to get adjustable head uh, adjustable seat belts but the 2022 brezza zx i does not get it so this is a form of cost cutting door handles to grab onto when your driver is driving rashly and this is the sun visor as i told you previously coming to this this is the glove box of the car which is very spacious although this is not cool the previous vitara brezza which is this one had the cool glove box so this that has been deleted now so that's pretty much about it you get the door good amount of space in the doors as well so yeah that is pretty much about it the driver side power windows as well so yeah that is about the front so guys one thing which i completely forgot to tell you was about the safety features on this baleno 2022 zxi and before that let me tell you that this brezza is based on the same platform as this one that is the old brezza that is the and it is based on the global c platform so that is already a safe platform and the brezza has always been known as the safest car one of the safest cars from maruti suzuki and it has also scored four stars in the nk rating but along with that maruti has now given it more safety features like dual front airbags abs with ebd reverse parking sensors seat belt remote seat belt reminders high high speed alerts esc hill start assist impact sensing auto door unlocks isofix child seat mounts so the concentration of maruti is also now shifting to safety so that is a very commendable thing so yeah that was it about the safety features of this brezza 2022 the zxi variant so guys that was a complete interior of the all new brezza 2022 the zxi trim and before jumping to the rear seat space let me quickly show you the reverse parking camera of the all new brezza so putting into the reverse gear and if the camera could do justice so this is how the rear camera looks like and uh, this has also got guidelines as well so that is pretty much about it so now let me just quickly hop onto the back seat and i have adjusted the driving seat according to my driving position so coming to the rear seat space the ingress and outgress is quite easy and uh, talking about the driver seat you have basically got magazine holders over here as well and uh, this is a hook for your luggage and you can load up to 4 kg of your vegetable here and ha matlab sabzi ke liye ye so you can put on your luggage over here and you can put it over here 
Coming to this, these are the rear AC vents of the car, which also has a 12 volt power socket over here as well. And from here, you can increase or decrease the blower speed as well. The transmission tunnel is moderately big, but it is not that big to hinder your space. So that is about that. Basically, it is negligible. Coming to this, basically you have got headrest over here as well, which is I think mandatory feature in every car for the comfort. And you have got some extra space for lighting as well, like the quarter glass opening over here. Door handles to grab onto. So let me talk about the space now. So I am getting adequate amount of knee room according to the driver. Like I had, I have adjusted the seat according to my driving position, and my height is close to six feet. Like it is six feet only. So the knee room is quite adequate. And talking about the thigh support. the thigh support is also moderately fine and it is quite okay i can sit here for long journeys no problem about that talking about the headroom the headroom is quite okayish and uh, yeah i do not have any problems on that front as well so this is how the complete interior of the 2022 brezza looks like and yeah coming to the seats itself you also get isofix side seat mounts so that is about that you also get center armrest over here and rear parcel tray and uh, Unlike the last Brezza, this parcel tray does not fold now. Like you cannot take your things from the boot from the parcel tray now. Like in the previous Brezza, where it could fold into fifty-fifty, so that is a miss. And lights, light placement over here because of the sunroof. So yeah, there is some hump over here as you can see because of the mechanism of the sunroof, and that is about that. Three people can sit here comfortably. Not three people, two adults and one child. So yeah that is about the rear seat space of the Olio Brezza. So yeah guys that was a complete interior as well as the exterior walk around of the Olio Brezza ZXI variant with the Map 5 speed manual gearbox. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and also do subscribe to the channel if you like the content and yeah have a safe smiling day and stay positive. I will see you in yet another video and if you like this video give it a thumbs up. Or if you think I could have improved on some points, do mention them in the comment section below. I will see you in yet another video. Till then, take care. Bye bye.